Let's look at a, qu a question using conservation of momentum. Imagine that uh, the Lone Ranger jumps on his horse, who was initially galloping along at 20 meters per second. The question now is, after jumping on the horse, will the horse be running slower or faster th or the same speed as before if the, the horse and the Lone Ranger form an inertial system? In the in inertial system, the momentum of, this, of the, the system must be constant or conserved and we can write down a conservation of momentum equation where the mass of one particle times its velocity plus the mass of another particle times its velocity measured at some initial time here on the left would equal the same mass times velocity at a later time where v prime is meant to denote the velocity at a later time. Initially, if the Lone Ranger is just standing there on the side of the building and hopping on the horse, we're going to approximate that its momentum, his momentum is zero and it's only the horse that's running that has momentum. So we'll write that the initial momentum is just the mass of the horse times uh, his velocity. After the Lone Ranger has hopped onto Silver, then the two masses are both being uh, moved down the road at the same velocity, V final. And so we can sort of uh, factor out uh, the V final from both terms here in the momentum on the right hand side and say that the sum of the two masses times v final equals the final momentum. If we're given the mass uh, uh, and of the two things and the initial speed, then we can solve for v final. And that becomes the ratio of silver's mass over silver plus Lone, Lone Ranger's mass times the initial speed of, of silver. That will always be a ratio, that, that ratio of masses will always be a ratio that's less than 1, and so this will, the right hand side will always be less than the initial speed of the horse. And as a result, after the Lone Ranger hops on his horse, the speed will always be less. Now of course, in real life, then the horse can actually do work and try to accelerate back up to the old speed, but just from the point of view of setting something in motion and having uh, an inertial system, then this would be resulting in a lower speed than before.